confidence level is getting bigger, so I'm starting to start. Uh, probably be seeing me throwing sidearm a little bit more. Ooh, speaking of my thing, language, <laughs> you know, a lot of people are like, "You don't throw sidearm." Alrighty, guys, Johnny Discoff here with coverage presented by OTB. We are here at the Wintertime Open with the La Mirada legend, Mr. Bobby Music. How you doing, man? Good, good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, and I'm super excited to get the season started. Um, now, this is not necessarily your local course, obviously, you're a La Mirada man, but this is really like close to your home turf. Do you feel a sense of like, you know, responsibility to shred it? Well, it's more of a responsibility to show up every day, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. one of those, it's, if it's so close, it's within 30 minutes, I should be at the tournament. It's, yeah. and sleeping in your bed is an advantage in my book. Huge advantage, man. It's like, you can't state it enough, especially, I mean, we know we travel all around the country. Um, you know, a lot of people at their local level, they're not really like experiencing that, you know, staying in a camper or staying in a hotel. It's just, it's not the same. So you hit the nail on the head, man. Staying at your own places is super key. Um, off season though, this is the first event. How's your off season been? What have you been up to? Um, it's been great. Been relaxing, really. Um, I got engaged to Kayla. Me and um, yes. we've been together for well over four or five years. So now that we're engaged, we can start planning, you know, family and stuff like that. So actual life stuff, yeah. not just disc golf related. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's part of it. So yeah, it's exciting. Dude, I, I'm I'm seriously really happy for you. Like on a personal level, we've spent some time traveling together, and and you know, I, I'm I'm super stoked. Like, disc golf's fun, but you know, yeah. life is obviously more important you know yeah. it's, it's super cool to hear that um anything you know that you've been really focusing on as far as now not uh, off the live stuff but like in your disc golf game is there any maybe part that you've really been trying to focus on or, or trying to improve well really my one weakness i'd say in my game would be my sidearm my sidearm game has very it's been um more for you terry like just in getting out of trouble you mm -hmm. know so I'm trying to get some confidence in it right yeah. now. And that's the big thing is taking that confidence out into the tournament level and not just practicing, but practicing out on the course and playing it right. Yes. So confidence level is getting bigger. So I'm starting to start, I'll probably be seeing me throwing sidearm a little bit more. Ooh, speak of my thing. language. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are like, you don't throw sidearm. <laughs> this isn't it. Like, yeah. what's that? That must've been a mess up, but yeah. So that's going to be my new focus for 2019. And that should save plenty of strokes out on the course. Absolutely. I mean, a course like this too. I mean, mm -hmm. like not to say that it's a sidearm dominant, but it's really handy to have a flick yeah. on a course like this. Uh, you know, a lot of low tunnels and stuff that you need to finish left to right. Um, is that we're going to be seeing that out here this weekend? Yes. Yes. A lot of that. A lot of that. A lot of still throwing my Cenus. I love that. Just throwing a little flick shots like like I would from 200 and in backhand. So yeah. it's real comfortable, and I'll, you'll be seeing a lot of it. Cool, cool. Um, so you said you're throwing your Cenus. You're with Lat 64 uh, again yeah. this year. Um, I think a lot of the people did see a lot of the Lat 64 players leave, um, you know, just from a sponsorship standpoint. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not going to ask you to go into detail <laughs> on that sort of stuff, but, you know, you did stay. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something that you, like, knew going in, or did you, like, come to a new agreement, yeah. or can you go into that? Yeah, I'm... Um... I'm more of a loyal, loyal person, so I really wanted to give Latitude more of a chance than what I had because I just recently got on the team probably two, three years ago. And, you know, I'm, I'm a long-term person, so if I had a five-year plan with Latitude in my head going into it. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've, everything's been great. You know, they've made some changes, and some of the players haven't agreed with it, and they've moved on, and, you know, we're all a family. Yeah. So I love every one of them, just like if they were my teammate. If not, it's all good. We're still mm -hmm. friends on the outside, so... Yeah, no, that, that's really cool to hear. Um, you know, I, I know that you go way back with Legacy and Stevie Rico and the boys, and I know you showed a lot of loyalty to that, so I don't think it's out of character to see you doing the same thing here, so that's mm -hmm. super cool. Um, as far as Lat64 and Discmania goes, I know that a pretty recent development is that Discmania is going to have some of their discs manufactured by Lat64. Mm -hmm. Does that change anything for you as a player? Like, do you get more discs to choose from, or how does that affect you as a player? Um, I'm not really positive. I'm not sure right now. Okay. With it's Yeah, new. it's still new, yeah. and I just, like, the rumors have just came true in my book, so I, it's still going to be, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting grasp yeah. of things because the, um, Dynamic, I believe, was, you know, making manufacturing some too. And so now it's going to be great, you know. Yeah. The competition is going to be thick. And it's good to see, like, Paul going to Discraft and yeah. stuff like that. It helps us as a player from a player's point of view, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm glad you just mentioned that, Paul going to Discraft. We've seen that so much shakeup. Um, do you see that as good? Or I guess um, 
is there maybe some leverage that players have now that they didn't have before? So now they can like take their pick a little bit more, or is this just like a sign of the times and it all shifts eventually? It it's you know it becomes one of those things. How far do you want to take disc golf? If you want to you know just for frisbees, that's fine. The companies would love to have all the companies would love to have you throw a shirt on your back and just represent us as much as we can then when it comes down to like financial benefits and stuff like that now it's a different ball game like paul stepped up to the plate like a, like he should as a four-time champ and and did it right yeah so yeah if you're wanted we want to feel wanted by the companies not just you know in, endorse our company yeah. and throw just our stuff and if we're doing that we want to feel like wanted a little bit yeah. more and paul's making that happen by going out and doing it right yeah. by by fighting for what he feels is right mm -hmm. and it's a better contract and more money involved yeah do you, do you see that as something that a lot of players can like take note from and build off or is that like i mean paul Macbeth? we can we both know like he's on he's in a tier of his own when it comes to marketing and branding right of um do you think that him taking that step and maybe like announcing that contract number or or a, as public as it has been yeah. is that something that benefits you as a player and, and these guys like ricky and other players or is he just in a tier of his own well i mean we all agree he's in, he's in a tier of his own he is one of the the goat he's mm -hmm. the greatest of all time in, in this period and he he represents something good about disc golf that is very marketable and you could see it from a company standpoint and from a player standpoint he's he's all around a great person so by him doing that i i feel like the companies are going to have to put out more and actually show us love because we're out there putting it putting it in we're living in the back of our cars we're doing it right yeah. and, and paying a heavy toll you know as of yeah. this year getting you know getting engaged and stuff so now life is hitting me a little bit more in the in the pocketbook like mm -hmm. we're gonna start a family yeah. and a house looking and stuff like that disc golf just you know it's there but i might have to put it on the back burner for a year or two I start a family and come back mm -hmm. no i respect that and uh so i guess uh you know the next question obviously in my mind you said looking for houses i know that you've lived like on la mirada i believe forever yeah. right yeah. is are you gonna like you staying in the neighborhood um, yeah, still, I guess I stay SoCal. It. It's just the weather and my family's here too. Yeah. So it's hard to leave SoCal weather and my family and that'll be it. Cool. Well, I mean, you, you have the obvious title of La Mirada legend. So like, what are you going to move to Connecticut and be like the <laughs> Bristol legend or something? I mean, come on. Yeah. Challenge, uh, Brinster up Ooh, in New York. Watch State. out, dude. Watch out that. Dude. <laughs> you don't want it. Yeah. Oh man. Well, hey, it's been a blast catching up with you. Uh, is there anything you want to say to your fans or anybody out there supporting Mr. Bobby Music? Um, I, you know, kind of start the year off a little slow this year, but I'll be catching up to when the tour comes back to like Santa Cruz, uh, Beaver type. I'll be back and you'll see me out there. Cool. Hey, I expect to see you at San Francisco Open. Of course. Yes, of course. Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, that's all we have for now. Uh, for other coverage of all things disc golf, check out my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching that interview. Guys, if you'd like to support, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it as much as you can. And if you have it in you, the patreon.com slash johnnydiscgolf, where every dollar goes to cleaning up this disaster of a van.